I looked forward to retiring at 25 years. And the easy way out for me is to retire now. But I'll tell you this. I'm not taking the easy way out. I've never done it throughout my life. And I'm not doing it now. So for all those other police officers that are out there that are wondering, should I just get it? And then they'll leave me alone and I can get to work and do my job. You're fooling yourself. This is the beginning of your rights being taken away. This is the beginning of what is going to be a long road for you. And also for those that have taken, I don't fault you at all. The information was that this was supposed to help. You'll see that this is all a farce. There's something else happening here and it's taking away the rights of Canadian citizens. 24 years ago, just about, I took an oath that I'd uphold the law. And part of that is what I'm doing today. I'm standing up and I'm not allowing myself to take part in this sham, this illegal activity that they are doing. I have sat back and I've shed tears over this and everything in me says that you're doing the right thing. And I would say all you other coppers out there, civilian workers, people that work at 911, EMS, doctors, nurses, you know as well. You give an inch, they will take a mile. This is just the beginning. So. Here comes the onslaught of our careers. They have no problem letting us go, making us take all our holidays, all our bank time, and then telling us to go home without pay until we comply. That is the ultimate in bullying. That is the ultimate slap in the face for those of us that have gone their careers, two years, five years, 10 years, 25 years, and served others. That's all of us frontline and all the workers that help us do our job. You're kidding yourself if you think this is going to, end, going to end. This is the very beginning of you seeing Canadian society torn down. People in Canada are you feed them enough, you tell them they're so great, you tell them this will help them, they'll do it. And that's starting the two-tier system. Very reminiscent of many years ago during uh, the World War that Hitler was perpetrating against the Jews. He slowly but surely took away the rights, the privileges, all that stuff that people find worthwhile in life. He stripped it away from them. And then he was able to demonize them enough that all the German people were on board to exterminate them because they were nothing. So just start taking a look at some of the correlations there between what has happened and what is happening because folks it's coming it is coming and if you want to leave this world worse off for your children and for the younger generation just keep complying because soon enough you'll be as indoctrinated as all these people that are running the show so this is my call to action for especially all the police officers. Time to stand up. You signed up for this job. 
this is your job. If you lose your job, you can go home at night going, hey, I stood up for what is right for everybody. I stood up for law and order and I didn't turn my back on it. I paid the ultimate price. Besides dying, I lost my career. I lost my job. They let me go. They fired me. They sent me home without pay, whatever they're going to do. So now is the time. Think about where your line in the sand is. And you're either in or you're out. Are you going to jump out of the foxhole, run across the front lines and surrender just because they start putting pressure on you? Or are you going to dig in? Are you going to do what you know is right? What you signed up for and what you have been doing your career? So please join me because I'm not retiring early. I'm here for the long haul. Send me home. Take away my hours. It doesn't matter to me because what really matters is that I know deep down in my heart what is right, what is lawful, and the way we should be treating humans. And this is not it. If you think you can do that, you can send me a message. Private message on Telegram, however you want to get a hold of me. My name's all over the place. You'll be able to find me. And let me know who you are, because I'm looking for those that will stand with me. I need somebody that has my six. I'm not a leader. I'm not the person that can lead a revolution, but someone has to do something. And if I get fired tomorrow, I get fired tomorrow. That's what it is. That's what it takes. It takes guts. It takes looking into the future, thinking about your children's future, and even those that you don't know their future. If you're on the fence, time to jump off whatever side you jump on. That's up to you. I hope you join us. The more of us there are, the bigger impact we'll have. So please give it some thought because come Christmas, our world will be ugly.